The two most popular lawn products in the world are the Weed and the Feed. A company named Scott's combined both of these called Weed and Feed. And this is it. And today, I'm gonna tell you why it's a scam. So we're at my local Home Depot today. And before I start telling you all the reasons why Weed and Feed is bad, I first want to give you guys an alternative list of items that you guys can use that are much more safer and much more effective. So the first thing we're going to want to grab is some weed killer. Now when you walk into Home Depot, you might be a little intimidated looking at this big wall of pesticides. So just to make it easier for you, what we're going to grab today is this Ortho Weed Be Gone right here. And we want to make sure we get the one that has crabgrass control. This is going to kill broadleaf weeds like dandelions and thistle. But not only that, it's also going to kill crabgrass. And what's good about this bottle right here is that it's in concentrated form. So we're going to get a lot more usage out of it than if we use one of these ready to use bottles right here. The only caveat to using a bottle like this is that we're also going to have to buy a pump sprayer and mix it with water. So it's a little bit more manual, but at the same time, it's going to be cheaper and we're going to get a lot more product. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to want to grab is a bag of fertilizer. Now, I personally recommend you pick up a bag of this. This is Scott's Turf Builder Lawn Food, specifically the one in the green bag. There's a couple of reasons why I think this is the best fertilizer in the big box store, and I'll tell you guys all about it towards the end of the video. So the last thing we're going to need is a pump sprayer. Now, for the budget's sake, I recommend that you guys get this uh, one gallon pump sprayer from Home Depot. It's only 12 bucks and it'll get the job done. But if any of you guys are thinking about going a little more advanced in your lawn care hobby, I recommend that you pick up one of these instead. Now, it doesn't specifically have to be a DeWalt, but I want you to pay attention to the shape. You see how it looks like a bowling pin? Any of these pump sprayers that you find at the big box store that have a shape like a bowling pin, they're going to be some of the best sprayers that you could buy at the store. They're all made by the same manufacturer and they are really high quality. So everyone knows I like a good deal. So before we get up out of here out of Home Depot, I got to tell you this score that I just got right here real quick. This lawn insect and ant killer right here, $3.30 was $13. You know, I'm definitely going to grab some of this. Now, I remember when I first moved into this house, there were weeds everywhere. This place was like a jungle. The people that lived here before didn't take care of it. So me being a beginner of the lawn care, the first thing I started gravitating towards was weed and feed. But after making that first application, I quickly learned something that day. Weed and feed is messy, like extremely messy. In order for weed and feed to work properly, it has to stick to the leaves of the grass. So one of the first instructions on the bag is that you need to wet the lawn before you apply it. Now, you guys remember how I told you that this stuff is messy? Real quick i want to show you guys what it looks like inside this bag we could see that it has a really powdery texture to it and, and it's not like usual fertilizers that come in big granules so that powder we just took a look at it has to be spread over a wet lawn which means that we're going to have to essentially take our spreader walk across the soaking wet lawn that weed and feed is going to get everywhere it's going to stick to the wheels it's going to stick to the spreader on your shoes god forbid onto your skin So another issue with weed and feed is that it causes excessive herbicide application. When you broadcast it, you're applying it to your whole lawn, not just to specific areas that have a lot of weeds. And ultimately you end up applying herbicide to areas of your lawn that don't even need it. And the last problem is that it's the least effective way to apply a herbicide. There's a reason why when you go to Home Depot and you look on the wall, all the herbicides are in liquid form. It's because liquid herbicides are the most effective way to kill a weed. So earlier I gave you guys an alternative list of items to get from the store. And the first thing on that list was this bottle of Ortho Weed Be Gone right here. And there's a few reasons why I like using this over generic weed and feed. When you use the weed and feed, it only targets broadleaf weeds. So if you have dandelions and thistle and stuff like that, the weed and feed will work to kill that. But if you have crabgrass, it won't kill it because crabgrass uses a different kind of herbicide to kill it. But this Ortho Weed and Feed is a three-way herbicide. It has three different kinds of herbicides in here that target both broadleaf weeds and crabgrass. And the next reason I really like it is that it's not as messy as weed and feed. All you have to do is put it in your sprayer, stand back from the weed and simply spray it with the wand. But with weed and feed, you're flinging plumes of powder everywhere all over the lawn. It's just a disaster. And the next thing we're going to need is a one gallon pump sprayer. And this is what we're going to use to apply our weed be gone. And according to the label of the weed be gone, we need to mix 6.4 ounces of product 
per one gallon of water. And the next thing we grabbed was this bag of Scott's Lawn Food right here. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the best fertilizers that you could get on the market. And one of the biggest reasons that I really like it is that it has a really small prill size. If we compare the prill sizes to this Lesco fertilizer, we can see that it's substantially smaller. And a couple of the benefits of having that small prill size is that you're gonna get more even distribution across your lawn and they're gonna break down faster. So not only are you gonna get quicker greeny effects, but you're also gonna get a more uniform color as well. Now, if you go to any golf course, you'll see that all the fertilizers that they use have a small prill size similar to the Scott's fertilizer. So if the golf courses are using it, then you know it's gotta be some good stuff. Now, since we have to apply all these applications separately, this is the order that I recommend you guys to apply it in. First, I would do the fertilizer. Now, the bag rate on this is two and a half pounds per thousand square feet. I personally recommend using two pounds per thousand square feet. And I find that this is the sweet spot of getting good greening effects while also not risking burning your lawn if you've never applied fertilizer before. All right, so next we wanna apply the ortho weed be gone. Now I always get the question, could we apply fertilizer and weed control in the same day? And the answer is yes, but you just wanna make sure that the lawn is fully dry. And since we just watered in the lawn with that fertilizer, we're gonna to wanna to wait a few hours before we apply that. If we apply this to a wet lawn, then that water is gonna dilute this herbicide and it's not gonna work properly. Now the most important thing to keep in mind when applying this ortho weeding feed or any herbicide application is that you have to wear proper PPE. And according to the label, we have to wear long sleeve, pants, shoes, socks, and gloves. And if you guys are facing an unusually large amount of weeds, then make sure you guys check out this video right here. In this video, I cover one of the most extremely potent herbicide combinations that are guaranteed to get rid of most, if not all your weeds. And with that, this is George from Princess Cup.